Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm just going to set a result the mail app error code 0x8007139F that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And it says if something went wrong, we're sorry, but we were unable to do that. And then followed by the same error code I said already, the 0x8007139F. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in settings. Best match, you'll come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Now you want to go ahead and select privacy and security on the left side. On the right side now, you want to go ahead and scroll down underneath app permissions and go down to email. Go ahead and left click on that. Versus email access, you want to go ahead and make sure that is turned on here. And let apps access your email is also turned on. You want to make sure both of these options are turned on, as well as the, for the mail and calendar app, unless you're using a different sort of mail app client on your computer. But most of you guys are probably using the mail and calendar app if you're on Windows, so you're going to have all three of these selected here or toggled to the on position. And if you're still having an issue here, guys, something else we can try here if we close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in apps and features, best match, come back with apps and features, go ahead and open that up. In the apps list, type in mail, best match, come back with mail and calendar, again, unless you're using a different application, and you would select the three dotted icon next to it. Select advanced options, and you'll scroll down, and where it says, if the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The apps data won't be affected, go ahead and select the repair button. Once you're done with that, I would suggest closing out of everything and restarting your device. If you're still having an issue, you can attempt to reset the app. The app's data will be deleted, so just make sure that your mail is backed up, which it should be. But this is just going to be resetting the mail client. So go ahead and select the reset button. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Go ahead and select reset. And once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here and restart your device. And now at this point, attempt to open up the mail app, and then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. If you're still having a problem, we can attempt to uninstall and then reinstall the application. So in order to uninstall and then reinstall the application, open up the search menu, type in apps and features once again, like we did before. Go ahead and open that up. Search the apps field for mail. It says mail and calendar. Click the three dotted icon next to it and select uninstall. The apps and its related info will be uninstalled. Select the uninstall button. And then once you're done with that, close out of here. Open up the search menu. Type in store. Best match, you come back with Microsoft Store. Go ahead and open that up. And in the top bar here, go ahead and search for mail and calendar. And best result should say mail and calendar. Go ahead and open that up. Should be by the Microsoft Corporation here. Go ahead and select the get button. And once that's done, if you close out of here, you should be able to open up the mail and calendar app if you search for it, or just type in mail, and you just have to enter back in your credentials. And that's pretty much it. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.